Good morning. Today it is Thursday the 13th of May and I am out about again. Today I am travelling on the former London and Southampton Railway as far as Basingstoke. I have purchased a off-peak return from Surbiton, which is the last station in zone 6, to Reading via Basingstoke. I have used an assortment of tickets to make this journey, so I've got my off-peak return, which cost me the princely sum of £11.05, which is with the use of my senior rail card. I didn't use my Oysters over 60s card today because I caught the train at 0911 from Falconwood to Waterloo. Instead, I use my wife's Oyster card. I know that's not allowed, but she doesn't use it anymore. And it had a remaining balance of four pounds and ten p on it. So I topped it up with thirty p, and that covered the cost of my journey to Waterloo East. I will be stopping off at Farnborough Main, Winchcombe, Fleet, and Hook. At Basingstoke, I would change onto the former Great Western route to visit. Mortimer, Bramley and Reading West and the train will also make an unadvertised stop at the new station at Reading Green Park, well according to Real Times Trains it will. Station 1014, unfortunately when I last went out I counted Rivelsfield as a station, I think it was 1008, but when I got home and rechecked my records I discovered I'd already been to Rivelsfield. It was one of those services where I jumped off, got the photo and jumped on. So I didn't really qualify as a station stop. And that's my train just departing. The former London and Southampton Railway Station here at Farnborough opened on the 24th September 1838. The station was rebuilt in 1903 and the island platform was removed at that time. Interesting working. This is the 1103, which I'm catching to Winchfield. Winchfield station opened on the 24th of September 1838 as Shapley Heath, and this was the country terminus for the London and Southampton Railway for nine months until the extension to uh, Basingstoke was completed. I have exited the downside of Winchfield Railway Station as I saw this bay platform when the train pulled in and close examination would tend to indicate it was an unloading dock, maybe possibly a cattle dock. The ends are here, appear to be a bit battered maybe. That's the drainage out of the cattle dock. Maybe it's where buffers have bashed against it. Um, but there's no record of any bay platform or anything at this station, so that's what I reckon it was. Maybe the goods shed was here, I don't know. Anyway, piece of interesting railway architecture. This is the 11.35, which is going to take me onwards, or backwards I should say, to uh, Fleet. Fleet Station, number 1016, opened in 1847 as Fleet Pond. I was informed by my Southern Region book that I could look forward to a delightful CLASP building dating from 1966. CLASP is an acronym. I don't know what it stands for, but it's C-L-A-S-P. But as you can see, the station has been completely rebuilt in modern brickwork. Here comes another 
unusual working it might possibly be that train I filmed earlier returning light engine yeah No, no, completely different. I couldn't see them very well. I think they're class 73s. My next train is at 12.09 and will take me to Hook. And here it comes. Next stop, Hook. Right, Hook Railway Station, opened in 1882, the 2nd of July, I believe. My Southern Region book, my 1984 version, that's all it tells me about this station. Now, it tells me a bit about the signals and a bit about the um, buildings, but, you know, you can see that. So that's it. This is my house for the next one hour, which is the next service I catch to Basingstoke. I was, by chance, just looking at my photos on my phone, I don't normally, and I realised I hadn't taken a photo of me and the sign at Winchur, Wingefield. So I had to jump off on the way down and get a photo, which I managed without too much problems. So this is the 1318 train to Basingstoke, which I'm going to catch from Hook. Hook has two trains an hour, one to Basingstoke and one to London. But it does have a Tesco's. The London and Southampton Railway reached Basingstoke with the extension from Winchfield on the 10th of June 1839. The Winchester Southampton opened the same day but coaches, that's horse drone ones, had to be used to bridge the 10 mile gap between the two stations until the 11th of May 1840 when the Litchfield Tunnel was completed. Apparently Basingstoke was a London South Western Railway, Great Western Railway battlefield as the London South Western Railway wanted to extend to Didcot and give them access to the northern parts of the country. But they lost that battle to the Great Western Railway. The two stations uh, amalgamated in 1932. I've walked underneath the subway to the other side of the railway station. This is the Great Western Hotel and this was where the Great Western Railway Station used to be. The 1354 to Mortimer, and here's a Great Western train, and you can tell this was a Great Western railway um, station because there's a palm tree on the station. So nothing. Which opened on the 1st of November 1848, and you don't get much more Great Western than a Brunel chalet style station building. But in this case, unfortunately, it is somewhat spoilt by the use of concrete pantiles on the roof. Which to me don't seem right, but I could well be wrong. So 1421 to Basingstoke catching it as far as Bramley, which is the next stop. Bramley Station started serving passengers in 1895, having been a good siding until 1865. At the Basingstoke end, there used to be a hedge shunt for access to the army depot uh, sidings. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk across the level crossing and film back into the platforms. 
but before then, there's a train due. Right, the train that's on its way is the Eastley East Yard to Hinksy Sidings. This is a 1506 that I will catch to Reading West. I do sound a bit strange because my mask has fallen into my mouth. So, Reading West, opened on the 1st of July 1906 to serve, believe it or not, the west side of Reading. And I have been here before. I remember coming here when Welling United played Reading in the FA Cup. And um, we came to this station, so Elm Park must have been closer than Reading Station. We went through Reading Green Park, but it's a building site. doesn't look like it's anywhere near finished yet. And here comes the um, 1533 to Reading, which uh, originates from Newbury. And that's the end of today's adventure. See you next time.